517, time now for a check of your weather and traffic together. And let's go over to Brian Goddard for that. And we had those rain showers, you guys, yesterday throughout the morning hours. Then they redeveloped late afternoon into the evening. Still very damp out there, but at least the rain has come to an end. And with the dampness and a little bit cooler air, temperatures in the lower 60s, we're seeing some fog. A little bit of fog around most of the region, but at the airport right now, down to a quarter mile. And at Kenosha's airport, a half mile. It's four mile visibility in Waukesha. The rain that I was talking about has been mainly to the northwest of us, where it was supposed to be. And because it's been mainly even further north and west, Dodge and uh, Sheboygan counties have been dropped from the flash flood watch, which goes until 7 o'clock. But you notice the rain has just been continuous in the central and western part of the state now, uh, going back since yesterday morning. About a half inch of rain from the south side of Milwaukee down toward the state line. Anywhere you see in green is about an inch to an inch and a half. And then you get up and parts of northern Dodge and southern Fond du Lac County, more than two inches of rain. And then you go out towards the Dells and Toma, Mauston. We're looking at three to six inches of rain. It has been nonstop. Uh, excuse me. Fond du Lac continues. I got choked up. Fond du Lac continues to be in that flash flood watch until 7 o'clock this evening. Uh, nowhere else. We will continue to see a few spotty showers here and there later this morning and throughout the afternoon, but no flooding threat whatsoever here locally. You can see in the future forecast those rain showers moving in around the noon hour into the early afternoon, but for the most part, not widespread by any means. And any additional rainfall will be less than a tenth of an inch here uh, across most of southern Wisconsin, less than a quarter of an inch, really. And from West Bend northward, it could pick up another half inch to maybe an inch inch before it's all said and done later this evening. Temperatures are in the low to mid 60s in Washington County. You're also looking at lower 60s. Slinger and Jackson at 62, Newburgh at 63 in this afternoon, getting into the low to mid 70s with that cloud cover and the chance for scattered rain showers. It continues to be damp outside and will continue with this dampness uh, tomorrow. A little bit drier air for Saturday. We bump it back up on Sunday before we dry it back out for Monday. So for the next 12 hours, we're going to get up close to 80 degrees. Yes, the first day of fall is going to be humid and 80 with scattered late afternoon and evening showers. Here's your seven day forecast. Uh, 80 today, 68 for tomorrow and as well as Saturday. Just a few showers both Saturday and Sunday. A better chance of afternoon showers on Sunday. Let's hope it's after the Packers game. We don't want to get rained on at Lambeau. Uh, and then upper 60s most of next week. Fall has arrived. <laughs> Brian, thank you.